Uh, I guess the thing that I really wanted to speak about is about crisis and surviving crisis. You know, there's always going to be really interesting situations that we're faced with in life. And it's how do we deal with that situation? How do we begin to go on and go forward? So I want to tell you a little bit of something about my life. I would say I'm pretty open, receptive, decent person. And I also came to realize, though, a lot of different things. Things I never imagined I would get an opportunity to experience or what was going to be in store for me in my life. But when I was a little girl, I had to go into survival mode. Primarily, I had to really start figuring out things for myself because my mom, due to the elements of crisis, stress almost killed her. So from that, we didn't get a chance to really connect on, uh, during my teenage years so much. However, there was a really great situation to come out of crisis. I got busy just trying to do anything possible I could do to stay out of trouble. So I played softball, basketball, dance, acting classes, music lessons, whatever, you name it. I did it. That was me. From that, I grew to want to explore and find new ways of creativity to express myself. So I left home with like $200, very naive. <laughs> but uh, I left behind everyone and everything that I came to know just to seek my fortune. But all of this was definitely before I knew that the world could get so complicated. So the music route was a great choice for me because there I had the space, I had the freedom to do and create everything I wanted to do. And through emotion, through emotion give and share it with whoever it touched. Well, it ended up touching a whole lot of people. So much, so much so, my good fortune took me to London, England, and I started traveling all over the world, went to exotic places, met the most unique people, different languages and customs that we got to share and experience together. This was during the real golden age of the 90s that Claudia was speaking about, when the British music scene snatched the world's attention, all the while being totally innocent to the possibility that things could or were about to get really seriously complicated. So on September 11, 2011, I was at my New York residence when tragedy struck. Since standing there one block away, I watched that first tower drop floor by floor. As that first building hit the ground, I remember being left covered in ash and debris, and so was everyone and everything that was in its path. Luckily, I had an escape from New York. And uh, I ran down to New Orleans. New Orleans was always a safe haven for me, and I had a, another residence, a secondary residence there. So it was always a safe haven because it was just when I needed the nurturing. It was always there for me. There were wonderful people there. They adopted me and welcomed me like I was their own. They taught me about living life and living it with a passion and celebrating the spirit. So as we all know, Hurricane Katrina made sure to change a lot of that in one day. So being so closely related to these tragedies, one would ask, how do I keep moving forward? How do I keep the joy while still retaining the peace? You see, I realized something very key. And maybe the piece of the puzzle so many times we may miss, maybe the point was to make a decision. It was all about my mindset. I had the choice to decide how I looked at things. I realized that I had the right and the opportunity to take charge of my actions, my deeds, and my outcomes, maximizing my fullest potential. So I've shows, chosen to share with all of you today some of the hardest moments and times for me leaving out full details of more recent tragedies with my links to Japan and the crisis there. Or just 11 days ago, a drunk driver actually crashed into my house, collapsing walls and leaving a, a passenger crit critically injured. However, today, that is not my agenda. 
Because for me, music has and will forever be my sacred, sacred place. And through tragedy, the great thing is I still get to win. From past, present, and future crisis that we all have and that we are going to still have, I challenge all of you to make your decision. What will be your mindset? And I dedicate this song to you and introduce to you what's next for me. And it is the birth of our new musical reality, which we are Selectrix. Thank you. Check one, one, two. Said the kid needs education. Oh, ha, ha. And the streets are never clean. I've seen a certain disposition. Prevailing in the wind. Sweet change. If anybody's out there. Emergency on planet Earth But I know it's a listening Or just another Wasted birth Yeah Now we got emergency Oh, we got emergency On planet Earth Turn up the track Now we got emergency Oh, we got emergency On planet Earth Listen to you now If anybody out there is anybody out there now? Oh, is anybody out there? Oh, we got emergency on planet Earth. Listen to you now. Anybody out there? Anybody out there? Yeah. Can you turn up the track? Anybody out there? Oh, we got emergency on planet Earth. Listen to you now. Turn up, turn up the track. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.